Hello beautiful souls, I am Sarah Ariana and in this video we're going to be talking about the current energies at the very end of March here and we're going to be talking about what you may have experienced in DNA transmission 2 and also DNA transmission number 3 from the one consciousness also comes forward. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's dive right on in. The intensity continues in these current energies. Last week, we really felt this as there was a buildup to the lunar eclipse. And then there was an X1 solar class flare on the Thursday, Friday of last week. And then we also experienced a geomagnetic storm that was labeled severe. And this geomagnetic storm was, was one of the strongest geomagnetic storms we've had in years. And many souls noticed last week there was an emotional roller coaster you may have been going through. There's been ups and downs. And there may have been intense headaches, body aches, and pains with this X-class solar flare. And then the geomagnetic storm may have cleared some of this for you. And all during this, this was a lead up to this lunar eclipse. And this lunar eclipse was so powerful, especially for the souls, the volunteer to be here to aid humanity and Mother Earth in this grand awakening, in this shift. So for the light-filled volunteers, you may have experienced a purging. More so than you've ever felt before. And this can be in the home environment area. This can be with attachments you have to the 3D density. This is dissolving. This is being released. And also to the forefront comes how important our physical vessels are. And for some of you, you may now be hyper aware of what is going on the body and how important it is to feed the body nutritious organic foods. This is coming to the forefront as we embody more light and we are in such gratitude for these vessels. There is more and more awareness that is coming in. There is a massive bee that is tapping on the window right now. Oh my goodness, it's like acknowledging, yes, yes, your body's important. <laughs> You also may be looking at all the ingredients to another level that you haven't done so before. And with this purging, there is a releasing of the 3D density of how one needs to look or be portrayed out in the world. And you may be embracing your hair how it is. You may no longer want to dye it. You may be embracing more holistic ways. You may also be embracing not wearing makeup anymore or very minimal makeup. There's a shift. There, this is a big shift with this lunar eclipse and it's going to continue to unravel over the next few weeks. And as you continue to look at the ingredients that are in the products and a really great website for some of you, you can take a look at it's, I believe it's EWG. I'll leave the website in the description box. And this is the environmental working group and they will label, they have a, they have a numbering system that will say if, if the ingredient is all right for your body. And I think it's a 10 that it's the worst. So you can take a look and, and take a look at your products that you have and do your own investigation and research work on what works for your body. And also this website is also a guide. And as we've released the 3d density of what we look like, we embrace who we are, we embrace these wonderful vessels, and we treat these vessels with such care. And alignment also occurs. And this alignment is with all that is, and also our missions and purposes. And this brings us to the DNA transmission number two, what you may have experienced. The one consciousness is here. <laughs> And you may have experienced, yes, some body aches or discomfort. And then one consciousness is explaining, this is similar to when you are pregnant on earth with a child and your body expands and there may be discomfort in your vessel as your body expands for room for this baby. And the one consciousness is coming forward with this DNA transmissions. 
This can also be the case similar to being pregnancy, pregnancy pains, it's like birthing pains, is that our body expands to really hold more light, to bring more of our divine essence into this 3D density. And as we shift into three, four, fifth and beyond densities, we are now embodying more light. And as this occurs, we go through physical transformation. And this won't always be the case that there's discomfort. There's a there's an adjustment period where you can listen to the transmission. You're like, oh, okay, my back, there's a tweak here, or you know, I'm feeling some discomfort in the low back and I need to do A, B, and C. You're listening to your vessel and your body will also communicate with what it needs. And the purging was also really felt with this DNA transmission number two, especially in the home environment. You may have been going through your closets yet again, if this happened to you in previous years, you may be going through this and releasing gifts that have been given to you from family or friends, clothing that you may have bought that no longer fits the body or feels good to the body. Everything is about feeling good and in alignment with where you are right here and right now. So yes, you may be going through the closet, you may be going through your home, and then also you're releasing attachments. There can be lower density attachments that you're releasing and you're letting go. And now let's talk about the DNA transmission number three. This is called the completion transmission from the one consciousness. And what I found out for myself after this transmission came through, I did experience low back pain. This lasted for a few days. It wasn't actually hours. It was a four, it was a few days and I needed to flow through it. I also need to put heat on my back. So you're listening to your body here. This is what's incredible with this completion transmission. I was driving down the road and this was just after I had just finished recording this completion transmission from the one consciousness. And I'm driving down the road and to my left is a fast food ice cream place. And as I'm driving, I see it dissolve and I'm seeing, and I'm continuing to drive down the road. I'm seeing everything around as I'm driving down the road, dissolving, it's crumbling and there's this new energy that is coming forth. I was quite flabbergasted as I'm driving. I'm The whole reality around me is changing, is shifting. You may experience this after listening to the completion transmission. There are parts of your world that will change, that will open up to you. And this really is the intention of the one consciousness is to bring forth this energy because you are ready. We're all ready to now have this leveling up that occurs to bring in this frequency. And as these three DNA transmissions come to a close and you've listened to them in their entirety from the one consciousness, the one consciousness is coming forth is that this gift of these transmissions is really to bring us in alignment to our divine mission, to our divine missions and purposes. And also language is going to be changing. And what they're communicating is that as we release the 3D and labels with the 3D, there's going to be new terms or more awareness with our roles and purposes. So an example of this is we have a kitty cat and I noticed that she was limping and I took a look at her paw and I couldn't see anything. And I could tell that she was in pain and I sat in a meditation and the information came forth to connect to a person that is in New Zealand known as a animal kingdom guardian. And once we connected, her name is Emma. She graciously was able to find space and connect with our kitty cat. And this is what occurred after she did her animal guardian session with our kitty cat. I noticed that our kitty went into a very deep sleep and like she craned her neck, you know, and cats crane their neck and then all of a sudden her belly opened like this and she was like kneading like this. It was just the best, best moment knowing that, oh my goodness, she's feeling this healing, this animal guardian session 
from Emma. And I noticed also shortly within a matter of a couple days, her appetite was returned. She was hardly limping at all. And she began playing again. And the information that's coming forth from the one consciousness is that we are going to be shifting here that for some, let's say, if you take your animal to the vet and yes, and yes, vets are incredible and they save many animals. Yes. However, there is a shift in this energy as we embody more light and the awareness that's coming forth is that you may experience sometimes taking your animal to the vet, that there's a problem every time with your animal when you take it to the vet or they find problems. And this awareness may be coming in and it may be also stressful for your animal to be going to the vet. And this may no longer be in alignment with you. And as this occurs, you may be seeking alternative methods for your animal that are less stressful, that are less maybe invasive, whatever is aligning to your energy in your heart as we release this 3d density and we now flow into a new way of being as we flow forward in this heightened frequency and vibration there are new terms once again coming forth and for those that are interested and want to book a session with emma Emma, the most magnificent animal kingdom guardian. I will leave her website, her details below in the description box. I highly recommend Emma. These three DNA transmissions are aiding us right here and right now. And then let's talk about the solar eclipse that's coming forth. The solar eclipse is on April the 8th. And it is not a dated fear at all. It's a gift. This is a gift of beautiful light that is coming in and is really meant to align us to our missions and purposes and really propel us going forward. This is light that is coming in that's saying, okay, now it's time to release that 3D job, or now it's time to release these relationships. Okay, now it's time, let's get you in alignment here. And, and you will know with the flow of the energy, how you feel in your heart with where your path is leading you. This is all about trust, surrender, being in the moment. Everything is in the now moment. So now we're going to dive into DNA transmission number three, the completion transmission. Our third DNA transmission completes our preparation for the solar eclipse on April the 8th of 2024 and this new cycle we now enter as we, the light warrior community, rise into our missions and purposes. In this third transmission, we bring forth the angelics, the dragons, the unicorns, and fairies. We are working together as one. I recommend using your intuition on whether to lie down or sit while listening. And I strongly recommend having a glass of water after listening to this transmission. Please note only once is needed to receive the full transmission. It does not matter if you drift off or fall asleep, you have received the full transmission. However, some souls will be guided to listen more than once. Once again, we recommend using your intuition. You may find after listening to this transmission, you experience physical discomfort as your vessel adjusts to embodying more light. And you may also experience over the next seven days a deeper unplugging from the 3D density than ever before. And then either feeling, seeing, hearing, knowing in some capacity that the new earth is arriving. New ways for all being birthed. And there's a happiness within you as you flow into the 5D density. Thank you so much for being here. At the end of this transmission, I leave this message with a video I took of Mount Washington here on Vancouver Island. And may the snow, the trees, and the sacred space provide grounding after this transmission and in this now moment. Blessings of love and light to all. Namaste. DNA transmission number three, completion. With a long, deep breath in, in through the nose, 
all the way down to the soles of your feet. Feel your breath flow down the spine. Holding at the soles of the feet. And when you're able, gentle exhale out through the mouth, letting it all go. Breathing in once again, loving kindness in through the nose, through every part of your vessel. Feel love, feel light flow into every part of you, filling every part of you. Hold here in the solar plexus area, the stomach area. Gently exhale, releasing, sign it out. And breathing a third and final time in this way, breathing in through the nose, breathing in light, breathing in love into every part of your vessel. Deep gratitude for your vessel. You may feel light orbs, golden light into every part of your vessel. Hold in the pelvic area now. Golden light all in this area. Then flowing into the solar plexus area, flowing into the heart area. Blossoming and blooming in the heart area. And when you're ready, exhaling it out, sign it out. And now breathing in a natural rhythm of breath in through the nose and out through the nose if it is available to you. This sends the signal to your vessel, to your parasympathetic nervous system that all is well. Let us begin. Uma shukuma sisi aliuma. Together we join shuma sisi yuma liana as one shukuma shishishishiyuma. The angelics shukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
Long deep breath in, pausing, holding, gentle sigh out, letting it go throughout the mouth. The dragons now come forth. Yum, shiam, liom. Take a long deep breath in. Gentle sight out. Unicorns. Long, deep breath in. Gentle sigh out through the mouth. The fairies. Long deep breath in. Gentle sigh out. The angelics. Long deep breath in. Gentle sigh out. This completes the final transmission, the final DNA transmission for the light warrior, the light worker community, preparing your energies, your vessels, every part of you for the solar eclipse. And for this new cycle that you now embark on, this new journey, this new pathway forward, you are ready. You are so ready. We support you. We love you. We are one. We are the one consciousness.